Number 84. What is the effect on the concentration of acetic acid, hydronium ion, and acetate ion when the following are added to an acidic buffer solution of equal concentrations of acetic acid and sodium acetate? And in this case, we are adding potassium hydroxide, KOH. So in 84A, the first letter of this problem, I went over how we got to this equation. So if you just need a recap on why we wrote this equation out, I do it all for you in letter 84A. Now all we have to do is just figure out what's going on with each of these concentrations. So the first thing is I'm just going to write that down. So we basically need to know what's going to happen to the uh, acetic acid, which is the HC2H3O2 whether that's going to increase, decrease, or remain the same, what's going to happen to the hydronium ion concentration, which is the H+, and what's going to happen to the acetate ion, which is the C2H3O2-. Okay. So, first thing is, is that I notice that I'm adding potassium hydroxide. I do see that I have a, a metal here, potassium, so it's ionic, so it's going to disassociate. So maybe I'll put that over here. We have KOH. And KOH, remember guys, that's one of your strong bases. So I'll just put SB. Strong bases always dissociate 100% into its ions. And the break would be right down here between potassium, which would be a plus one, and hydroxide, which is an OH minus. Now, Hopefully, the easiest way is that one of these ions would show up in your balanced equation. But K plus isn't here, and OH minus isn't here. Chances are, a lot of, you know, a lot of students would say, okay, since both of them aren't here, it's no effect, no change. But there's a trick, and the trick here is the hydroxide ion, because... What happens when OH minus comes together with H plus? That's a very, very, very specific reaction, right? Hydroxide always coming with hydronium will always produce the neutral water. So if I am increasing KOH, that means that I have more OH minuses. And if I have OH minuses, I'm going to try to grab as many H pluses that I can to produce the water. So if that's the case, and if I'm just grabbing from the equation to basically make my own equation, what's actually happening to the H plus in this equation? If I'm basically taking the H plus away, yeah, the H plus is decreasing. So I know that because I'm increasing hydroxide, I'm removing the, hydro the hydronium because I want to make the H2O. And I can only make H2O if I remove some H plus. So I know that the H plus has to decrease. And now I can get the other answers. Because in the original equation, if you have too less or too little of an amount, if you drop that amount, you will always shift to that side. This is now review, Le Chatelier's principle. So since I'm decreasing on my products, I have to get it back, which means that in terms of which direction am I going, I am shifting to that side. And if you're favoring the products the remaining product would increase. And that's the acetate ion. That's this guy. Vice versa, if I am going to the products, that means that I am losing my acetic acid. So that's going to drop. And now I have all of my answers. And that's all your effects for this one. So just keep you know, just keep a lookout for that OH minus because even though it's not in the equation, it will take hydronium ions away and then all the shifts happen. So hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I think there's one more in this question. So hang tight if you guys are on the playlist, which I highly recommend you guys are. 
In the meantime, if you want to press the subscribe button to help us out, thank you so much for that, and I will see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.